Oh, Lord. There we go. Hi. Hey. Okay, so we'll be going in and out. Uh, so I'll do my best. Hi, Sophia here. I'm nutritionist, RD2B. I'm culinary educator. I specialize in helping you um, prepare plant-based whole foods. So when I say whole foods, I mean unprocessed foods. Um, so the reason I'm doing these videos so you can like follow along and I'll save them to uh, my IGTV so you can stop them, you can rewind, um, fast forward. If you All right, if you don't already know what to do, um, so as you know, is West Indian Day Parade coming up. Um, so in celebration of that, um, actually I'm personally making some um, some, uh, oh, my brain, <laughs> sorrow, oh, first week of school, okay, I'm making some sorrow, so I'm going to walk you through how I make some sorrow, uh, we have this anytime, summertime, uh, Christmas, um, both of my parents are Jamaican, both of my parents are Jamaican, you probably can't, I don't have an accent, I'm from Maryland, but... I cook all things Jamaican, um, but in a plant-based way, and on Christmas, not so plant-based. Um, and maybe at some point I'll, I'm not going to make the jerk sauce I normally make, but at some point I'll do that video too. Alright, so let's get into making some sorrow. Alright, I'm going to give you a better view of what I'm doing. Uh, hold on a second. I'm giving you a better view, but I don't... Okay, wait. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Alright. Uh, you can kind of see what I'm doing better. Here. Not like that. Alright, here we go. Alright, so again, we're making some sorrow. So, let's just go through our ingredients. So, first thing you want to do, whatever you're making anything or any other any food any 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 dish the easiest thing to do is get all your ingredients together first it's trust me it's much easier it seems like more time but it's not um, and that's called mess in plus um, okay so let's get to it so first the essential uh, if you can see that Let's do what the video girls do. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so this is, these are hibiscus flowers. These are dried hibiscus flowers. It's called sorrel. So I haven't found that organic version yet, but this is the dried sorrel from Jamaica. You want to just make sure you wash it. Anytime you get dried flowers, you also, oh, this is from PA. My bad from PA but it's dried hibiscus flowers so you, anytime you get dry flowers you want to make sure you rinse it really well so that's the essential in sorrow our next staple ingredient is our um, star anise here oh wait let me see if I can get you a better view so you see it in the grocery store you're gonna find it in the dry there it is um in the in the spice aisle so um in spice aisle you find it like in a spice bottle so you want to get your star anise and you want to get your cloves these are wet because i think i used i did use all of my cloves so i have to get more um but you can see cloves are also in the spice aisle okay so those are essentials for, for sorrow. And um, a little secret, not everybody add uh, cut up. I like, this is all spice. So all spice can come ground. Also in the spice aisle, I have a bottle here, I still have more. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, there we go. Um, so you want to use allspice too, again, it's not necessary, but 
I like to add a little bit because allspice is really strong. So what you do is you take your dried sorrel, you boil it. You boil it in some water like you're making tea and you let it sit uh, for, I'd say 24 hours, but you can let it sit for a couple hours if you don't have time. But again, when you wanna, you wanna make things ahead of time when before you need it. So I actually had it sitting in the refrigerator with boiled with my um, sorrel and my star anise and my cloves and the allspice for three days. So this is it. It's been sitting there. Well, it's just it looks like pink liquid, but it's been sitting in the refrigerator. <laughs> for three days. The longer you make it sit, it's like tea, the longer you make it brew is the stronger it will be. So I'm going to strain it. So well, however long you want to uh, make it brew is how long you make it brew. So I'm going to strain it now. And it's actually, I've had it covered in the refrigerator. So don't leave it uncovered. Cover it in case you have um, other things in the refrigerator like onions or whatever all right so you see that's the sorrel that's been sitting there star anise all that stuff you just want to put that in your food scrap bin for composting or you can boil it and make tea if you want to try again that's fine but this is our main sorrel drink right here you could freeze it or and then use half of it for for drinking but we're not done yet so I'm gonna put that to the side all right let's put that to the side um, all right so just this is now extra ingredients that I want to add um, extra ingredients that you can add are lemon um, but when you're serving it you don't want to let it sit in your brew lemon and but today I'm gonna add star, not star anise, anise, anise hyssop. This actually, anise hyssop, I got this, this is growing in my backyard, but I got this um, from East New York Farms. So for those of you that are local, all right, so for those of you, the video keeps on pausing, that's cool. Um, so for those of you who are local, you can get this at East New York Farms, just ask the youth at the end of the month. Wait, is anyone in here? <laughs> oh, hey, Nakeeba, are you still there? I'm not sure. If you're still there, can you hear me? I'm curious, because my last live didn't record sound. Anyway, all right, so you want to get this at um, East New York Farms, or you can grow it on your own in a pot, again, on your stoop, your windowsill, whatever. Anyway, so I've already washed it in the opposite direction. I'm gonna pull off the, the flower buds. <laughs> if you can't tell already, um, I love a beautiful dish, a beautiful drink. Um, I love to eat with my eyes, so, and it just comes natural to make everything artistic. You don't have to add um the anise flowers you can add you could just keep it as is as i showed you earlier all right so those are the buds uh you want to muddle them but i don't have a muddle so i have a little glass here i'm going to use sometimes you don't have the so if you don't have the tools just find something else that works and i'm crushing release the flavor because what I'm going to do is add them to my pre-made drink. I don't want to add them, I definitely don't want to add them to my main sorrow um, container. I don't want them sitting in there. I mean, you can, but I personally, I want to see. I want to have a fresh pop of flavor. Can you see what's uh, here? All right, those are... Um, the Anise Hyssop blooms from uh, this plant. And you can also use the leaves. Um, I just didn't use the leaves this time, but you can use, the, you could totally use the leaves. 
All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna just strain this now and get one of these. Now, this is totally, um, you can totally make this virgin or non-virgin. It's perfectly delicious with just a cup of ice and just the sorrel itself. So it's the main sorrel drink here. I'm gonna add it to my, so I'm reusing this old wine bottle as my bottle for my sorrel. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add my sorrel to that. That's fine, whatever I don't use, Whatever, this is what I'm not gonna use for now. I'm gonna take take out the, um, where is it? Here it is. Take out my sorrel, my dried flowers, put that in my food scrap bin, and then clean this out, and then store my sorrel, um, probably in the freezer at this point, until I wanna make another bottle to go in the refrigerator. All right, so, for this now, I'm just literally gonna lay it on top. It's all, all right, so I went to get some ice. You need ice. These ice are too big. All right, this is pretty hot. Oh, it's gonna splash. Never mind. It'll break down. It's hot enough. All right. Oops, oops, I'm making a mess. Let's pour that off. Clean that off. It's so pretty. All right, so that's our main drink. Then I'm gonna take my star anise, not star anise, oh my gosh, anise hyssop, and just put it up on top. Again, you can add some lemon. Oh, I need a spoon. big I forget get some lemon to it all right I don't know what you heard because it keeps on going out but so you can add some lemon to it just to give it a little acid flavor let's actually taste it so good but I forgot one thing I forgot the sugar sugar is important I know a lot of people are afraid of sugar, but don't be afraid of it. everything in moderation. So I'm gonna add, let's start over. Actually, let's just add sugar here. Mm, hold on. Uh, how much do I have that looks like? It looks like six cups of liquid, almost. So I'm gonna add my sugar through my funnel. Ideally, you would add your sugar here once it's in your bowl, then you wouldn't mix it. I'm actually gonna go ahead and do that too while this funnels through. Makes it easier. And yeah, this is a great drink on holidays like Labor Day, well, any day really. And you can make this cold or hot. And just add sugar to your liking. Uh, you don't have to go crazy. You add lemon so that you can cut down on the sugar, adds more flavor. Actually, what I am gonna do I know I said I'm not, I wasn't gonna do this, but you can also just go ahead and add the leaves now and break them up, or you can muddle them. Muddle them meaning crush them with your actual pestle, but, or your small shot glass. Um, so do that, store that later. All right, so back to the sugar. So you just add your sugar, that's good. 
in this case, I'm gonna mix it up. And that's pretty much it. And I'll probably add some sugar to this. Now you can add a little piece of the leaf there. Oh, this one's better. Let's watch it. A piece of star anise mint. Um, let me see if I can have lemon. I don't think I have lemon right now. And that's fine. Again, you can do this just as is with and those who like alcohol you add some ray and nephew rum that's traditional jamaican rum um, but drink responsibly um or recommend just as much alcohol intake you want to match with water a little bit more so you can stay hydrated um and enjoy all right, enjoy the Labor Day, be safe, and see you soon. All right, bye.